Good evening. Tonight, we go after the story of an extraordinary personality. He is Salvador Dali, the great surrealist painter who sees the world through surrealist eyes. If you're curious to hear Salvador Dali talk about decadence, death, and immortality, about his surrealist art, his politics, and his existence before he was born, we'll go after those stories in just a moment. My name is Mike Wallace. The cigarette is Parliament. The new high filtration filter, Parliament, presents the Mike Wallace interview. We'll talk with Salvador Dali in just a moment. I think you'll welcome the change to recessed smoking because now Parliament with the recessed filter is best. The new Hi-Fi Parliament. And here's why. First, Parliament is best because only Parliament can give you over 30,000 traps. No other popular cigarette delivers less nicotine and tar. Second, unlike ordinary filters, Parliament's filter is recessed, set deep down inside here, so that trap nicotine and tar can't get on your lips. And third, because it's recessed, there's no bitter taste of trapped nicotine and tar to spoil Parliament's pure tobacco flavor. It's a clean, satisfying smoke. And remember, Parliament is continuously tested and reported by the United States Testing Company, one of the world's leading independent testing laboratories. Over 30,000 traps, exclusive recessed filter, flavor pure protection. Yes, smoke the best. Hi-Fi Parliament, now at popular price. And now to our story. Salvador Dali is a self-confessed genius with an ingenious flair for publicity. An internationally renowned modern artist, he's also designed fur-lined bathtubs, he's lectured with his head enclosed in a diving helmet, and he claims that at the basis of his ideas are, as he puts it, cauliflowers and rhinoceros horns. He paints like this. Here you see perhaps his most famous work, it's called Persistence of Memory. In contrast to this dreamlike picture, here is Dali's surrealistic commentary on the horrors of war. It's called The Face of War. And now an example of Dali's latest phase, the crucifixion, showing his current preoccupation with religious subjects. Now let's try to find out some more about the enigma of Salvador Dali. Dali, first of all, let me ask you this. You're a remarkable painter and you've dedicated your life to art. In view of this, why do you behave the way that you do? For instance, you have been known to drive in a car filled to the roof with uh, cauliflowers. You lectured, as I mentioned, once with your head enclosed in a diving helmet and you almost suffocated. You issue bizarre statements about your love for rhinoceros horns and so on. You're a dedicated artist. Why do you or why must you do these things? Because uh, this kind of uh, eccentricities uh, correspond to the more important and the more tragical part of my life. The more important and the more tragical part? I don't understand. The more philosophical. Well, what is philosophical about driving in a car full of cauliflowers or lecturing inside because a Because this cover uh, make one tremendous speech, uh, almost pseudo-scientific in the Sorbonne in Paris about my discovering of the logarithmic curve of cauliflowers. The what? Logarithmic aspiral of oh, yes. cauliflowers. The logarithmic curve, yes. And in the same time, the logarithmic aspiral in the horn of rhinoceros. In this time, discover this is the symbol of chastity, one of the most powerful symbols of modern times. Chastity is one of the most powerful symbols of modern times? In my opinion, is the more urgent and the more dramatic. Uh -huh. Because uh, the chastity represents the force of spirit. Uh, and lecturing... This is the reason that the priest is chast in any religion, you know? Mm -hmm. Because of the promiscuity, the people make love is no more the spiritual strength, no more the spiritual yes. force. Yes. Well, well, we will get to your spirituality, your increasing spirituality over the years in just a moment. 
about lecturing with your head enclosed in a diving helmet. Why? Why? Because uh, in this moment, like, uh, the uh, audience understand that Dali penetrate in the bottom of subconscious mind. What's that? Penetrate. Penetrate. In the bottom of subconscious mind, in the sea. In the inside of the sea. Yes, uh, down in the In sea. the profondeur of subconscious. In the depth of the subconscious. Exactly. Yes. Alor Ortiz is one very clear symbol uh. for arrive in this stage of... Uh, we try to understand, in all seriousness, we try to understand you, and you try to explain. But earlier this week, you told our reporter, I like to be a clown, a buffoon. I like to spread complete confusion. Before we went on the air, you said to me, ask embarrassing questions. Ask embarrassing I questions. The more as possible. Why? Because... Why? Because, uh... uh suddenly make one movie in France. Yeah. Uh, in this movie, myself dance Charleston and my friends look this piece of movie at all Dali in this part is much better than Charlie Chaplin for me it's very interesting well are you about because see, see Dali is one marvelous painter uh, in the same time is one marvelous gloom is thousand times much more interesting for everybody you want to be a marvelous clown as well as a marvelous painter she is possible. The two together is very good, you know. Charlie Chaplin is one genial clown, but never paint the same as Dali. Or see Dali. So uh, what you want to do the is... The same as Charlie Chaplin, eh, in the same time, paint masterpieces. Or Dali is thousand times much more important than Charlie Chaplin. Well, now wait, wait. Despite your hijinks, time and again you have called yourself a genius, and you're very serious about it. Now you want to be evidently, you, you want to be a genius in two fields. First of all, you have called yourself a genius, In yes? many different fields, you know. You? Yes. What else besides an artist? Uh, the more important in my life, more the gloom, more the okay. painting, more the my draftsmanship is my personality. Draftsmanship? My personality oh, is more important than every of these little facets of, of my activity. In other words, what is most important to you is my personality. Is Dali. expressing Dali. Dali. Not mm. the painting, not the clowning, nothing but... The painting, the clowning, the showmanship, the technique, everything is only one manner for express the total personality of Dali. I see. I see. Let's take a look at one of your major paintings, Dali. It's called Sleep. There it is now on the monitor. What's the point of this picture? Is there any point? This is very important because uh, myself work constantly in the moment of sleep. Every of my best ideas coming through my dreams in the more Dalinian act uh, activity consists in this moment of sleep. In other words, you conceive a good deal of your... The more important things happen in uh -huh. the moment of my service. I was going to ask if there was any major theme, any powerful idea which inspires all your work. Could you tell us what it was? Evidently, what it is, is simply an expression of Dali, period. There is nothing more in it, or am I wrong? Uh, no, of Dali, of cosmogony of Dali. The what? The cosmogony. One cosmogony? Cosmogony of Dali. What is the cosmogony? What does that mean? This uh, is in advance of new nuclear physics, because every of my paintings, everybody laughs in the moment of look for the first time, but almost after 12 years, every scientific people recognize that every of these paintings is one real prophecy. In the moment of paint my soul watches, this the more rigid object for everybody, and myself paint his watches, the same uh, very soft camembert. Everybody laughs. The last development of nuclear physics proved that the new conception of space-time is completely flexible. Not only this, in the microphysics, the time board in reverse. This proved that this object of completely surrealistic approach of so much is completely true and scientific. Dolly, I must confess, you lost me about halfway through, and I'm not sure, I'm not sure that we can... 
Let me try it another way. What, what does a painter, what does any painter contribute to the world and to his fellow men? Any painter, not just Dolly. What does a painter contribute? Every painter paints the cosmogony of himself. Of himself. And it's as simple as that. Exactly. Which contemporary... Raphael paints the cosmogony of Raphael. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Raphael is the Renaissance period. Yes. Dali paints the atomic age and the Freudian age. Nuclear things uh -huh. and, and psychoanalytic things. Which contemporary painters, if any, do you admire? Uh, first Dali, uh, after Dali, Picasso, mm -hmm. and after this, the others. But these Dali and Picasso are the only two that really, le du, le two really only excite you. genius of modern times. The two geniuses of modern times are Dali and Picasso. Uh, in your autobiography, you wrote this. You said, I adore three things. Weakness, old age, and luxury. Why? Because the luxury is a product of monarchy. And myself, every day, becoming more monarchic. Not in political way, because never is Bali is interested in politics, in politics yeah. but in philosophical and cosmon cosmogonical yeah. way, yes. Right. Because uh, in the modern science, the new discoveries of uh, chromosomes and uh, physics and biology, everything proves the monarchy is the more luxurious things in the life. The most luxurious. All right. Now, old age. And the most perfect. And the, the most, most perfect. perfect. And old age. Why do you adore old age? Because I uh, believe that the young people is completely stupid, you know? Young people are stupid. It's and only necessary. I only believe some old people, the same Leonardo da Vinci, or arrive at some mm -hmm. real achievement. And weakness. Why, why do you adore weakness? Because in, uh, in the modern physics, everything is weak. You know, it's everything, uh, every proton, antiproton, neutron, pinison... What do you mean, ...is weakness? surrendered of weakness, of nothing. Le, 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 in this moment, the most fantastic thing in physics is the antimatter. Every new physician talks about antimatter. And Dali paint 20 years ago the first antimatter angels. You write in your biography that death is beautiful. What's beautiful about death? Why is death beautiful? This is one feeling. Everything is erotic, in my opinion. It's Everything ugly. is what? It's erotic. Erotic. It's ugly. Immediately so arrives the feeling of death. Everything becoming noble and sublime. Oh, in other words, life is erotic and therefore ugly. Death is not erotic, but sublime, therefore beautiful. And beautiful. Ah. You know, for well, instance, you, Mickey Ballas, now is you uh, a little uh, good face, a little handsome, yeah. but incidentally, you becoming dead, yeah. everybody take out the, the chapeau, you becoming one fantastic man, everybody respect you a thousand times much better, you know. Are you make, you make are you, uh, is this by way of a suggestion, sir? Exactly. <laughs> so you, be, so you make one striptease, uh, you're becoming ugly in one second. Oh, I, I, agree. I agree. Tell me this, uh, what do you think will happen to you when you die? Myself no believe in my death. You will not die? No, no believe in general in the death, but in the death of Dali, absolutely not. Not. She believe in my death becoming very unfried is uh, almost impossible. You, are f you fear death? Yes. Death, death is beautiful, but you fear death. Exactly. Because Dali is contradictory and paradoxical in any sense. Well, yes, indeed, Dali is paradoxical and contradictory, but why, wh why this fear of death? What, what do you fear in death, Dali? Because there is no sufficient uh, convince of uh, my fight in religion. Is not, in the moment of myself, believe more. You're not sufficiently convinced of your faith exactly. in religion. Well, now, I spoke with you about a year ago, and we talked about religion, and you said that as the years go by, you embrace Roman Catholicism more and more with your mind, but not yet completely with your heart. This is true. Why not? 
Uh, because uh, perhaps is my early uh, intellectual trend and formation, but now every day is more approach of this real feeling of religion. Just one month ago is one tremendous operation of appendix, yes. broken appendix. The after this operation becoming three times more religious than before. How old are you, Dad? Uh, never remember exactly the fifth. 54 or 53 or something. Are you formally involved with your religion? Do you go to church a good deal? Do you pray? Do you... Every day more, but there's no, no sufficiently. You know? Not sufficiently. No sufficient. Have you ever had a supernatural vision? Uh, all these natural things, but no supernatural. No supernatural. No. An article about you, you mentioned your, your, your fear of death. An article about you in Life magazine once said that you're afraid of almost everything from ocean liners to grasshoppers. The article said you won't buy shoes because you don't like to take off your shoes in public. And that when you go out, you carry a little piece of Spanish driftwood, which you keep to ward off evil spells. Yes, because remain very, very superstitious. But this is, I'm sure, is common of every Spanish people, you know. Spanish people is very superstitious. Do you know anything about politics at all? You say you don't care about them. Do you know anything about them? Do you know, for instance, who uh, the Prime Minister of Great Britain is? Uh, yes, but, but no, no, not, not taking care of this. Because uh, for me, the important thing is look the philosophical events of every moment. And now is absolutely sure, for instance, that the monarchy is restored in Spain very shortly. You think uh, it will the be? Prince Juan Carlos, uh -huh. Franco agree at uh, this restoration, is absolutely convincing that the monarchy coming back in France very shortly, after one military, uh, perhaps one de Gaulle period or military. Do you, know, do you know who the Vice President of the United States is? Can you name? Mr. Nixon. Yeah, yes, but, yeah, but, but it's possible, no, but it's possible perhaps tomorrow you put this in que question and, no and you would answer, not. You know. What do you enjoy doing most? Do you like to talk, to paint, to eat, to think? What, what, what do you like to spend your time doing, Doc? My manner of expend my time, I think the more joy, the more delictful, is becoming every day a little more dull. A little more dull. Because in the beginning of my life, you remember, like at becoming Napoleon, First, no, you wanted first, to be first, uh, a cook. cooking. One. First, you wanted to be a cook. No then, you cook. wanted to one be Napoleon. Cooking woman, one woman cooking. You know. You wanted to be a woman cooking. Exactly. No one man. One woman cooking. Second, like it becoming Napoleon. Napoleon. A later one, like it becoming Dali. And now is every day more Dali. In a moment, I'd like to ask you about an extraordinary power which you claim that you have. You've written that you can remember your thoughts and your feelings before you were born. And I'd like to know what those thoughts and feelings were. And we'll get Salvador Dali's answer in just 60 seconds. Now, Parliament with recess filter is best. Best is the word for this new hi-fi Parliament. Over 30,000 traps. No other popular cigarette delivers less nicotine and tar. And because this filter is recessed, trapped nicotine and tar can't get on your lips. Let me demonstrate with this chalk. Just take any other filter cigarette. Chalk the filter, like this. Then Parliament's recessed filter set deep down inside here. Now, press both against glass. See, the ordinary filter leaves the smear. That's the point. Only in Parliament, the bitter nicotine and tar from the filter cannot get on your lips. Can't spoil Parliament's pure tobacco flavor. You get a clean, satisfying smoke. Continuously tested by the independent laboratories of United States Testing Company. Smoke the best. Hi-Fi Parliament. Now popular price. That's the Parliament story. Parliament with the recessed filter best. Try Parliament yourself. Now then, Dolly, you said that you can remember not only things that happened to you in your infancy, but even your feelings before you were born. What were they? What did you think about? What did you feel? Well, I remember very clearly many images. Also, not only in black and white, but in glorious technicolor. 
technical. I see. And what specifically? Now, what were some of these X, things? Some phosphoro, phosphorescent X, luminous X. A tall about these visions of Dr. Freud in London. A Freud tell me that is absolutely true is the origin of intrauterine memories. Probably my position, fetal position, the, my pupils is very hurt by my hands. Mm -hmm. Depend on my position. Was it, well, uh, what was it like? Was it, was it pleasant before you were born? Ah, uh, it's completely paradise. Paradise. The best moment, the more divine images. In the moment of born, is the moment of the paradise is lost. This also is the theory of Otto Rang. Well, under those circumstances, I find it difficult to understand your fear of death. If the moment of being born was paradise lost, perhaps death for you will be paradise regained. And therefore, I would think that you this would... This is uh, my hope, but is not absolutely sure. This is the, the trouble. Mm -hmm. See, the death is the, again, the reconquer of this paradise. This is excellent, but it's uh, not sure yet. Yeah. Do you, uh, do you enjoy yourself as, as you live? You like yourself? You think, you say that you are a genius. Certainly you have had the... No, I enjoy my life every, do? every day more. You do? Every week more. Mm -hmm. Because observe Dali, and my admiration for Dali becoming tremendous. Yes. What, what kind of dreams do you have? What are they about, Dali? Every time is very agreeable and creative. The last uh, dreams is about the antimatter angels. Uh, perhaps for five months, only dream about archangels, angels, kings, and the most beautiful spectacle. Mm. You seem to be a mild-mannered man. Are you? Please don't understand. Mild are you? Are you a mild man? Are you a pleasant man to deal with? Uh, are you a friendly man? You seem to be a mild man. An I easy man. Everybody loves Dali very much. Even everybody very loves Dali. And, uh, uh, yeah. But your paintings, they're frequently violent. And you've written that in your private life, you have had Im sudden impulses to injure people. As a child, you kicked people. You threw a friend off a rocky ledge. As an adult, you confess that you once kicked a legless beggar along a street. Exactly. But uh, this is my adolescence period. Now becoming much more... Uh, quite in this kind of sadistic scenes yes. is the contrary. Mm -hmm. After my religious feelings becoming more strong, yeah. these sadistic scenes of my adolescence disappear almost completely. Is that so? And, and when you were a young man too, you used to try to hurt, you were masochistic as well as sadistic. You used to try to hurt yourself. You'd bind your head until exactly. it hurt because you felt that you could be more creative that way. You do not need that no, now every of these disappear because every of my libido now is sublimated in the religion and the mysticism. Uh -huh. Well, there's one story about yourself I'd like to ask you about before you go. When you were courting your wife, Gala, you did an unusual thing, as you've described it. You smeared your body with your own blood from a cut. You tore your clothes, and then you rubbed a jar of evil-smelling fish glue all over yourself, and you plan to present yourself this way in front of your future wife. Why did you do that? Because in this moment, I uh, believe that this... In this moment, Dali is true, is almost crazy. Before met Gala, my, uh, my brain is very close to one psychopathologic brain. Your brain, yes. And in this moment, like it seduc Gala, in the most terrific manner. He believed that the smell is the more attractive uh, manner for Seduk Gala. E Gala becoming in love with me, it is, is probably the real Gerishon. Mm. Gala uh, created the real mysticism and the real classicism of my actual life. And you have been married now to Gala for how many years? Or perhaps uh, 20 or more. I see. And but since it's still in love with Gala, Mark in the beginning, the other is something that nobody believes. Perhaps it's, uh, Dali never 
make love avec one other woman que Gala. In 20 years. And the people never believe because we're, we're, everybody is one why? day. You're... Why? Why shouldn't we believe? It's the most sensible thing in the world. You yes, have but there's no. Uh, my sure belief is very frequent, but the other people told me it's very exceptional. Well, I don't think perhaps as exceptional. And now my obsession is the chastity because we live chastity. chastity is the more powerful thing for the me. Mm -hmm. Dali, I certainly thank you for coming and spending this time. I'm looking forward to the publication of your new book, Dolly, which will be published in the fall, and I understand will have a good many color plates of your paintings in it. Thank you, Dolly. Merci. To those who raise eyebrows or look down their noses at him, Salvador Dolly bristles his remarkable mustache with equal disdain. As he puts it, I cannot understand why human beings should be so little individualized, why they should behave with such great collective uniformity. He says, I do not understand why, when I ask for a grilled lobster in a restaurant, I'm never served a cooked telephone. I'll be back in a moment with a special announcement about future plans. One pack, I believe, is all it takes to discover that now Parliament with the recessed filter is best. The best filter flavor combination ever. And here's why. First, over 30,000 traps in this filter, no other popular cigarette delivers less nicotine and tar. Second, unlike every other filter, Parliament's filter is recessed. It's set deep down inside here so that trapped nicotine and tar can't get on your lips. And third, because it's recessed, there's no bitter taste of trapped nicotine and tar to spoil Parliament's pure tobacco flavor. It's a clean and satisfying smoke. And remember, Parliament is continuously tested and reported by the United States Testing Company, one of the world's leading independent testing laboratories. Smoke the best. Hi-fi Parliament now at popular price. Tonight's interview ends my series which started a year ago for the Philip Morris Company, the makers of Philip Morris, Parliament and Marlboro cigarettes. And I want to thank the Philip Morris Company sincerely for helping me to bring you these programs. Next Sunday evening, next Sunday evening at 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Saving Time on many of these stations, I'll start a new interview series devoted to the theme of freedom and survival. The series will be produced in cooperation with the Fund for the Republic and will be designed to encourage public discussion of freedom and justice. We're going to talk about the problems of the individual in his relationship to big government, big business, and big labor. We're going to examine the growing power of political parties and pressure groups. We'll talk about the responsibility of our mass media, newspapers, magazines, motion pictures, and television, We'll discuss these issues with such men as Supreme Court Justice William Douglas, Aldous Huxley, author of Brave New World, industrialist Cyrus Eaton. Next Sunday night on the first program, we'll open the series with an examination of religious skepticism, of the conflict between church and state, of religion and morality in American life. Our guest, you see him behind me, will be one of the world's leading religious thinkers, the Protestant theologian, Dr. Reinhold Niebuhr. We'll ask Dr. Niebuhr why he charges that our current religious revival is essentially, uh, essentially meaningless. We'll find out why Dr. Niebuhr says that religion can never abolish injustice and evil in society. That's next Sunday at 10 on many of these stations. Till then, Mike Wallace, good night. The Mike Wallace interview has been brought to you by the new High Filtration Parliament. Parliament. Now for the first time at popular price. Look for brand names when you shop. You'll always be satisfied. See the unusual on You Asked For It tomorrow on ABC Television Network.